Well boys, how are we all getting on and welcome back to another video now. We're back with some canal fishing. It's been a little while now. The canal has just not been fishing well at all recently. It had a very bad pre-spawn. I only got a few very small jacks on dead baits, which is shocking really. But this session you're about to see was a very big surprise. So at the moment, the fish are actually post-spawn. The small pike were actually right on top of the shore trying to get away from the big females. And I think a few of them are still spawning, but I think majority of them have stopped. And my goal was just to look for fish. I was throwing the Savage Gear River Roach. Probably the best paddle tail roach imitation you're ever going to get. And on there I have two BKK yellow trebles and this caught all the fish. So I start walking up the canal to a new spot they're starting to dig out which is going to be a great tent spot because they're actually putting pipes down for a housing estate they're building so it's a bit deeper. And this is where the action started. And the brakes a bit. Oh, look at that. I... There's the new stretch. Sandy. Probably a very good tension. Oh my god! I'm wicked on the on the village. On the new spot. <laughs> Was not expecting that. Nice little pike. He short that. Yeah, nice pike, you know. Got him. You got him. Well, that's my first canal pike in a long while, you know. Let's get him up and have a look at him. Oh, the hook came out in the neck. That was a nice little pike. Mm -hmm. Brand new spot. This spot was already only dug out about what, a few weeks ago. I was already fishing it. Lovely canal pike, actually. He could be coming up to six pounds. Now. Oh, stay. Look at length. I won't bother. Oh, I'll give him a wave. Actually. If I can have all the stuff in. Scale, you gonna work? Are you gonna be a on scale? There we go. Well, she worked. None of the scale lets me down all the time. Hmm. Oh, it's gone off again. I think I need new batteries. Well, not to worry. Just let me tape measure. Just under 75. Not a bad fish. I would definitely give him five and a half pound probably. That's a nice fish to get. Oh, nice. Oh, green eyes. That is so cool. One eye is black. One is green. He's half blind. That's crazy. Half blind. Half blind pike. Top the river roach. Great. Yeah, it's going back. Very hard to get stuck. I'm going to cut the ground. My best bet. My foot is cramping, but don't take too long. <laughs> Jesus. He's away. My foot was killing me now. Thank God he went off early. There she is. River Roach. Top catcher for me. Uh, I think it, this is my old one. I literally just fixed it. Soldiers back together and torn again. Got some bright yellow BKKs on it. I think that's a 7 gram weight, maybe 5. I think it's 7. And uh, yeah, brand new spot to dug out. So great. I caught the first pike in the spot. <laughs> oh, I missed one. I, I have him. I got him. I have him. I got him. Hit it twice. Big fish. Oh my god. That's not a bad pike. Hit it twice. 
Oh wow, some power in him. God, that was a great take. Just not felt the hooks the first time. That's a good pace. Big heading. This great guy. I knew this spot had to have something. Okay, just, just bear with me, fish. One hook is just hanging on the side. Oh my god, he's a big bad guy. Oh, come on. How long does it take to get in there? Okay. We should get him there. Look at that. Oh god, that is a huge head he has. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get in there. Oh, it's a good fish. That is a big bike. Jesus Christ, look at that thing. Well, yeah, he's big. <laughs> it's a big pike. I had one earlier, he was half that size. I haven't seen anyone fishing for a long time, but she said... Jeez, that's a big fish. Jeez, that... <laughs> that could be my biggest pike out of this canal, you know? <laughs> that is massive. I'm going to get the hook out of him and then I'm going to get length and uh, a weight on him. Oh wow, barely hooked. <laughs> That's some fish. Jeez. Oh, uh, jeez, could you? <laughs> I'll uh, just pump the water for a minute first and then we'll uh, get a little video of them. Jesus. I don't think my scale's working actually. It's kind of turned on now. It's kind of dodgy. Probably the battery. Yeah. Ah, yeah, it's working. Hundred, you know, 95 on the dot, 95 centimeters, and uh, quick way. The scale works, hopefully, it does. It's a PB, it's 14 pound with the mat, so it's 12 pound. That is a 12 pound pike on the Red River Roach. That is amazing, and uh, thanks so much for filming me. It's a great fish. Boys, I am in complete shock right now. I can't believe that just happened. Uh, we're just resting the net. She's been in there for five minutes. I'm going to give her a long recovery. I'm going to give her one last hold up to the camera and then I will put her back. I can't imagine how big that fish would be. If she had eggs in her, I think she would be very close to 14, 15 pounds. Right, one last hold and we'll get her back. That is so nice. Look at that. Like, just look at that belly. Nothing in it. Nothing in that belly. Look at the head. Look at that head. Look at that head. That is a giant head. Beauty. That's a gorgeous Look, fin perfect and all. The fin perfect. A few cuts from spawning, but barely any. That is a beauty. That's a beauty. Okay, where can I release her? So I don't break my ankles. Okay, this might be the best angle. But feck it. She's this fish deserves it. Okay, she have her resting. Give her as much time as she needs. She was recovered for ages in the net. I am about to slip. Such an unexpected spot to get one, too. Oh, well, there you go. She's starting to kick a bit. Oh, she's gone. God, I nearly fell in. <laughs> Bit of blood on me. Not bad though. Let's f <sighs> You did well. <laughs> Just turn off the camera there, boy, because there's barely any storage. Have to delete some footage. The same spot where I got that big pike. I just caught this absolute baby one. Oh, this is the fish I was probably hanging with her. <laughs> Look at this little small pike. Look at that. This is the male probably that was hanging around with that female. Look that big lure. <laughs> Little one pounder. Beauty. Well, third fish. I don't know what to say. Three fish for any day in the canal is great. This lure is chewed up. That's from the five. But on the top here, look at that cut. That's from the big girl. And then the little one pounder just came out of nowhere. I'm sure he was spawning with that fish. But yeah, that's class. To catch two pike down that same area, that were spawning. I don't know what to say, this trace is ruined, I'll have to remake that. But yeah, River Roach, lovely lure, great crack. Let's see if I can get four. I mean, how do you describe what just happened there? I would never think to get my personal best in that particular spot. My previous PB was 12 pound on the dot, this fish in particular. And this lure I got him on, it was the Abu Garcia, I think this is the Beast Curly Tail. That fish was 12 pound on the dot, while this one you just seen was 12.4. So yeah, quite a bit bigger. So for the last bit of fudge, I'm gonna throw in a bit of ultralight fishing with the 
Rapala, Countdown Elite 55. I love these lures. They're my favourite trout lures. They're great for pike perch, as you're going to see. Great for pike, clearly. Tiny clouds, little small pike. Cute, cute little. Tiny pike. Oh, it's. Got another one. It was on there. Pike, probably gonna have to get a new leader. Two for two, have the same size. Takes too much. That stuff on top of them. Look at that. That balloon is on them there. Very strange. Sure, just. Oh my god. <laughs> Great fun doing some old today fishing. My clouds are absolutely tiny. These are more for trout. Well, oh, I managed to get this old. There you go, that's out. That's so weird, that balloon is on them. That could be like an infection or. Something from spawning. These canal pike have definitely had their spawning. They have to down the woods, up in the water. I know you're being infected, pike. <laughs>